What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. So let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. Long and strong to the break of down. Good evening. How you doing? How you been? Welcome to your English class. Today is Wednesday, and we're ready to part lay all day, every day. How are you today? I said, how are you today? Somebody talk to me, please. How are you today? Hi, Nelly. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. How was the gym? Yes, How was the you. gym? Good uh, day. Good day. No. No. <laughs> No, why? What no, happened? No. What happened? Uh, I was <laughs> Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> I, I did it. One hour. Tomorrow, two hours. Yeah, today, me, two hours. Today. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mauricio, how are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Excellent. Ready, ready, ready. Hi, Carla. Ready. Hi, Mayra. I huh? am listen. I am listen. I am listen. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I am listening. I am, repeat, I am listening. And I am, am listening. listening. That's right. You don't say, I am listen. I am Ruben. I am an English teacher. I am intelligent. I am powerful. I am strong. You don't say I am listen. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Thank you, Mauricio. Now. Who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? Who remembers what information do you remember from yesterday's class? Practical conversion. That's right. About what? What um, the decision? Um, company. Okay. Okay. Uh, solo Mauricio asistió a la clase de ayer. La información del balance sheet. Oh, thank you, Carla. Balance sheet information. Very good. What else? What else? Somebody? What else? What else? Ding, 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 ding. Jaren. Eso quería escuchar. Gracias. So yesterday we were looking at the Jarens. That's right. Jarens is the topic. Jarens. So. Today, we are going to be looking at a presentation referring to the gerunds. So we're going to be looking at gerunds today. I would like for everybody to please pay attention to the topic. Now, for this topic, what I want you to do is follow my instructions. On the first one that we see is the verb plus the gerund. Repeat after me. She keeps worrying about her husband. 
she speaks worrying about, about her husband. Right. So this is she is the subject. Keeps is the verb. The verb. And worrying is the gerund. ¿Qué es un gerundio? Un gerundio es un verbo que se está usando como un nombre. So, she is the subject. Keeps is the verb. Worrying is the noun. The gerund. About her husband. All right. Repeat, please. She keeps worrying about her husband. She keeps worrying. Worrying about her husband. About her husband. That's right. Now, what we're going to do is look at the next one. Repeat, please. I like being with you. I like, I like, being, like being, being with you. With you. Right, so what is a gerund? A gerund is a word that is composed of the present continuous form of a verb, number one, is used as a noun, and a gerund is the object of the verb. For example, I like being with you. If I say, for example, I like pizza, for example. I like pizza. I, I is the subject. Like is the verb. Pizza is the noun. So similar here, I is the subject, like is the verb, being is the noun. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, let us continue. Repeat after me. They enjoy eating pizza. They enjoy eating pizza. Every time you use the verb enjoy, you are going to use the gerund. They enjoy eating pizza. They enjoy dancing. They enjoy learning English. They enjoy playing video games. They enjoy watching TV. Always gerund. On this one, they have finished working on a big project. Repeat. They, they have, have finished working on a big project. On a big project. Okay, so every time you see the verb finished, you follow the gerund. They have finished working. They have finished studying. They have finished watching the movie. They have finished cooking dinner. They have finished exercising in the gym. They have finished listening to music, etc. Every time you use the verb finish, you follow the gerund. The next one, my sister never stops talking on the phone. Repeat. So every time you see the verb stop, you are going to follow the oh, yeah. structure in the gerund. All right, verb stops, the verb, the gerund. My sister never stops talking. 
My sister never stops learning. My sister never stops exercising. My sister never stops running. My sister never stops eating. My sister never stops driving, etc. Always when you have the verb stop, you follow the gerund. Repeat, I wish they would quit arguing. I wish they would arguing. Whenever you have the verb wish, I wish, and then you have the verb quit, then you follow the gerund, right? Quit arguing, quit smoking, quit eating junk food. Quit uh, going out to parties. Quit hanging out with bad people, etc. Quit always follows the gerund. Repeat, would you mind taking my picture? Would you mind taking my picture? So every time you see the verb mind, you follow the gerund. Would you mind taking my picture? Would you mind looking after my children? Would you mind uh, taking me to work? Would you mind picking me up from work? Would you mind cooking dinner for me? Would you mind serving me a glass of water? Would you mind going to the supermarket for me, right? Every time you follow the verb mind, we follow the gerund. Repeat, I usually postpone doing my taxes until the last minute. I usually until the last minute. So whenever you see the verb postpone, you always follow the gerund. I usually postpone exercising. I usually postpone finishing my homework. I usually postpone calling my dad. I usually postpone paying the bills. I usually postpone cleaning my room. So, etc. Every time you have postpone, the verb is in the gerund. Many people put off doing their taxes until the last minute. When you see the verb put off, it has the same meaning as postpone. Postpone and put off have the same meaning, el mismo significado. What is the difference, Mr. Santos? In what situation am I going to say postpone? And in what situation am I going to say put off? The difference is that postpone is more formal and put off is more informal. Copy the examples, copy the examples.
All right, any questions? Who can tell me what is the difference between postpone and put off? What is the difference? What is the difference between postpone? Um, informal, informal. Correct. Which one is formal? Which one is formal? ¿Cuál es formal? Postpone. 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 ¿Y cuál es informal? Put on. Put off. Put off. Put off. Put off. Questions, questions, questions. Okay. Repeat. They have to keep on working until the project is finished. Repeat. They have, they have, they have to, keep to keep on working, working until the project, the project is finished. No, finished. Finished. Working. Finished? No, finished. 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 That's right. Finished. That's right. So, every time that you see this keep on or keep, every time you see this verb, you are going to put the gerund. Keep on working, keep on driving, keep on learning, keep on studying, keep on going, keep on watching, keep on driving, right? Always the gerund. They are considering breaking up. Every time you see the verb considering, you understand that you will have a gerund. They are considering buying a new car. They are considering studying Mandarin. They are considering going to Hawaii on vacation. So whenever you have the verb considering you automatically understand that you will have the gerund to follow. They are thinking about breaking up. So again, one more time, considering and thinking about have the same meaning. Considering and thinking about have the same meaning. Mr. Santos, what is the difference? The difference is that considering is more formal and thinking about is more informal. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Now, the same here. They discussed breaking up. They talked about breaking up. It's the same meaning. Discussed and talked about is the same meaning. What is the difference, Mr. Santos? The difference is that discussed is more formal and talked about is more informal. The meaning is the same. At this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to this activity? Okay. 
Now we are going to go ahead and move forward. She is considering not going to work. So when it's negative, we put the auxiliary not before the gerund, antes del gerundio, in the negative, considering not going, considering not working, considering not calling, considering not answering. Exercise number one, Arturo. They are mm, mm, out to play. They are going go. Ellos están pensando en salir a jugar afuera. There I go, there are, they are going to. Mm -hmm. No. Alguien que le quiera ayudar? Alguien que le quiera ayudar? Think about. About. Marvin. Very good. ¿Quién dijo they are thinking about? ¿Quién dijo eso? Me, teacher. Very good. Jesse. They <coughs> are thinking about going out to play. They are thinking about going out to play. Let's check. Let's check. Thinking about going out. Very good. Ding, ding, ding. Excellent. Jesse, select somebody. Jesse? Marvin. Marvin. Number two, Marvin. Uh, do you want to talk in about buying a new house? Excellent. Do you want to talk about buying a new house? Is that your answer? Yes. Excellent. Talk about Buying. Perfect. Correct. Ding, ding, ding. Select somebody. Marvin. Mm. Roxana. Roxana. Number three, please. Will you consider give, give, creo que se pronuncia, give, less on what this week? Very good. That is correct. Would you consider, consider giving us less homework this week? Is that your answer? Roxana, is that your is that your answer, Roxana? Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. Okay, donde dice por qué está por qué está usando gerundio, por qué pone keep haciendo como Usted dijo que ING era gerundio, ¿verdad? Para hacer haciendo, comiendo, un ejemplo. That's right. So this is the verb. This is the verb. 
This is the noun. So the gerund functions as a noun. It doesn't function as a verb. No funciona como verbo, funciona como nombre. Okay. Do you understand? Roxana, do you understand? Okay, perdimos a Roxana. Okay, let's check. Consider giving. That's right. Eh, como Roxana se perdió. Roxana, ¿estás ahí? Sí. Ok, ¿entendiste el, el por qué se pone el gerundio? No, teacher. Porque es que, que yo, es que yo no entiendo por qué lo del ING. Ok. Eh, el ING está compuesto, el gerundio está compuesto de... Aquí dice, ve, gerund is in the form of the ing. This is the verb. This is mm -hmm. the gerund. Do you understand? Okay. O sea, it takes the form of a noun. Como que si yo te digo, por ejemplo, I like pizza. For example, I like pizza. So, si yo te digo, I like pizza, mm -hmm. I is the, the subject, like is the verb pizza is the noun es un nombre verdad sí mm -hmm. vaya mm -hmm. ahora si yo te digo i like dancing por ejemplo what is the verb like like what is the subject? I. E, what is dancing? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué es dancing? Dancing. Dancing? ¿Qué es dancing no. en la estructura no. de la oración? Noun. Very good. ¿Quién dijo eso? Mi teacher. Ok, excelente, Elmer, por estar, por estar poniendo Pero, atención. Teacher. Gracias. Teacher. Pero llevaría eso porque está conjugado con el gerundio. That en is... Una forma de lo que está haciendo la persona. That is correct. La función... Es de un nombre, no es función de un verbo. Es como cuando, cuando decimos, uh, por, es, ejemplo, por ejemplo, cuando decimos estoy comiendo, estoy saltando, estoy corriendo. Lo que yo pienso es que usted está, está pensando en español y quiere que la estructura encaje en alguna estructura en español. Eso es lo que veo que está pasando. Para darle un ejemplo, si yo te digo, por ejemplo, bailar es mi hobby. En esa oración, ¿cuál es el verbo? Bailar es mi hobby. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Hobby o bailar. ¿Por qué no está, usa, ¿por qué no está diciendo bailando? Bailar. Bailar, lo que pasa es que eh, toda palabra que termina en ar, er, ir, es verbo. 
No, no. Si yo te digo en español, bailar es mi hobby. ¿Cuál es el verbo en esa oración en español, en la estructura de español? ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Es. Bailar. Es, exacto, Bye. Daniel, gracias. Es, es el verbo. El gerundio, ¿cuál es el gerundio en esa oración? Bailar sería... Bailando, Bailar. Excelente, si lo pone Daniel. Inglés. Bailar es mi hobby. So, el gerundio es bailar. En inglés sería dancing is my hobby. So, estamos viendo que estamos usando un verbo, pero la función no es verbo. La función es nombre. Si yo te digo, I like pizza. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Like. 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 ¿Y cuál es el nombre? Pizza. ¿Cuál es el nombre? Pizza. Pizza es el nombre. Si yo te digo, I like running. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Like. like. ¿Cuál es el nombre? Running. Running. Si yo te digo, I like dogs. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Like. 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 ¿Y cuál es el nombre? Dog. Dogs. Mm -hmm. I like exercising. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Like. like. ¿Cuál es el nombre? Exercise. Ok, do you understand? Así encaja esta oración. En español no puedo decirle eh, cómo podría eh, traducirse, pero eh, tenemos que quitar ese bloque. Ese es un bloque que ustedes mismos se hacen. Empiezan a traducir y a tratar de encajar la gramática española a la gramática inglesa Eso no va a suceder. Hay ciertas estructuras que en el español no existen. Por ejemplo, eh, la voz pasiva, yo nunca la he escuchado en español. Eh, los, el first conditional, zero conditionals. Right. Hay, hay ciertas estructuras que ni existen en español. So, tenemos que tratar de aprender de, de una manera de no mantener esas barreras en nuestro cerebro. Porque si nosotros empezamos a hacer eso, eh, va a llegar un punto que no va a tener sentido el idioma. Ok. So, tratamos de evitar... Eh, no le estoy diciendo que no en todos los casos. Sí, van a haber casos que sí hay una traducción literal en español. Pero tratemos de desconectarnos de eso. Right? Estamos aprendiendo un lenguaje nuevo. Eso quiere decir que vamos a aprender estructuras nuevas. Me imagino que esta estructura es algo nuevo para ustedes. Y veo que tenemos que repasarlo también en español. Porque no me podían decir cuál era el verbo en esa oración. Todos me decían bailar. Si yo te digo, yo estoy bailando, ¿cuál es el verbo? Estoy. Estoy. Estoy es el verbo ser o estar. Y bailando es el verbo en el presente continuo. Right? So, allí hay el verbo auxiliar, que es estoy. Y el verbo principal, que es bailando. bailando. Sí, allí es un verbo. Pero si yo te digo, bailar es mi hobby, bailar no es un verbo. Bailar es un gerundio. Es como que si yo te digo, eh, si yo te digo, por ejemplo, eh, LeBron James es mi futbolista, mi basquetbolista favorito. LeBron James is my favorite basketball player. Right? LeBron James no es un verbo, es una persona. Solo estoy usando como el sujeto de la oración. Si yo te digo, bailar es mi hobby, bailar es el sujeto de la oración. ¿Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Ok. Yes, yes teacher. Ok. Y en ese caso, bailar, perdón, en ese caso, el gerundio sería, este, bailar. ¿En cuál caso? 
¿En qué caso? Donde usted decía, I like dancing. Donde usted decía, I like dancing. Ok, I like dancing. ¿Cuál es el gerundio? Pero, eh, bailar. Ajá. Ah, pero lo, lo dice que es gerundio porque lleva el ING. Por ejemplo, no. con, cuando decimos estoy comiendo, saltando. No, no, no. Es que usted está usando el... Yo creo que usted, Roxana, está confundiendo el gerundio con el presente continuo. Porque si yo te digo, estoy comiendo, I am uh, eating. Ese es present continuous. Ya no es gerundio. Allí ya es verbo, no es nombre. Si yo te digo, I am... ¿Qué más dijo? I am eating, I am, ¿qué? Saltando, digamos. Jumping. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am jumping, I am eating, eh, I am studying, eh, um. I am learning. Ahí es presente continuo. La acción que está pasando en el momento de hablar es una estructura completamente diferente a la que estamos viendo. Ah, okay. I am learning, I am writing, ok. No, uh -huh, en esta uh -huh. estructura está diciendo estoy, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, estoy. Right? Aquí es verbo. Aquí, eating, jumping, studying, learning, writing, no son gerundios. No son nombres. Aquí son verbos. Okay. Do you understand the difference? Sí, teacher. Okay. Does anybody have any questions at this moment? Questions at this moment? Pero si le ponemos I like jump, jumping, uh -huh. ahí se, se pone jumping como nombre. That's right. I like verbo. That's right. El verbo sería like, I uh -huh. like jumping, 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 jumping. Uh -huh. Ok, ahí está el gerundio, ahí es gerundio. Y el verbo es like. Y tú dices, I like speaking English. Speaking es el gerundio. I like dancing salsa. Dancing es el gerundio. I like Eating seafood. Eating es el gerundio. ¿Por qué? Porque allí no estoy diciendo yo estoy saltando, yo estoy hablando, yo no estoy diciendo eso. Allí estoy diciendo a mí me gusta. I like okay. jumping. El verbo es like. Jumping, speaking, dancing, eating son gerundios. Ok. Okay, <laughs> ok. It's a little complicated. Yo sé que, yo sé que ahorita tal vez ustedes saben de decir, damn, qué complicados son los gerundios. La verdad no lo son complicados. La verdad simplemente tenés que memorizarte los verbos. ¿Verdad? Tú ves el verbo stop, sabes que el que sigue es gerund. Consider, tú sabes que lo que sigue es un gerund. Right? Ya lo vimos. Ya los vimos. Aquí están, ¿ve? Tú decís, like, gerund. Eh, enjoy, gerund. Finish, in gerund. Stop, gerund. Quit, gerund. Mind, gerund. Postpone, gerund. Put off, gerund. O sea, tú te vas memorizando los verbos. Keep, gerund. Considering, Gerund. Thinking about, gerund. Discussed, gerund. Talked about, gerund. Considering not, gerund. Right? So basically what you're doing is you're just making a list. Estás amplificando tu vocabulario. Y básicamente lo que estás haciendo es memorizándote verbos. 
tú te memorizas, tú te memorizas, tú te memorizas cierto verbo y entiendes que es seguido por un gerund. Do you understand? Okay. ok, no se toma un científico. Tú solo ves el verbo y tú dices, oh, el verbo es stop. Ok, yo sé que el, el verbo que le sigo es un gerundio. Tú ves consider. Ah, tú automáticamente sabes que el verbo que le sigue es verbo. Thinking about. Vos automáticamente sabes que lo que le sigue es un verbo. Do you understand? Okay, we're going to look at a listening activity. The topic of the listening activity is about hotel reservations. Hotel reservations. Reservation del hotel. Uh huh. Ay, qué frío hace. Yo tengo calor, teacher. Where do you live? Puerto, en la libertad. Ah, uh, that's why. No, over here is chili. Si ahorita estoy con sweatpants. O sea, Jordan sweatpants. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's cold. Hasta tuve que apagar el ventilador. All right, let's look at the picture. Jesse, tell me what do you see in the picture? What do you see? The laptop in paisaje. How do you say paisaje? The view. the view, la vista, the view. Mm. Carla okay. Beatriz, what do you see? Laptop. Laptop. Roxana, what do you see? Mm. Mirror. Mirror. I don't understand mirror. Ah, window, window. <laughs> Windows. The window. Yeah. yeah, okay. The window. Okay. <laughs> uh, Nelly, what do you see? Uh, building. Buildings. Building. Buildings. Arturo, what do you see? No lo escucho, Arturo. Oh, 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 Arturo. The beach. The what? The beach or the lago, no sé qué. Oh, okay. The river. <laughs> that is a river. <laughs> I said, oh, excuse me? <laughs> no, there's no beach right there. <laughs> That's a river. That's like a river or a canal, something like that. A canal. A canal. It could be a canal or a river. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to look at the question. Repeat, everybody, repeat, please. What points, what what points, 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 points do you consider? Do you consider when making a hotel reservation? Ok, la pregunta le, ¿qué puntos consideras cuando haces una reservación en un hotel? Repeat, rank these ideas. Rank these ideas. In the order of importance. In the order of importance to you. And, you. and you. share your reasons. And share your reasons for your choices. 
Ok, van a poner en un ranking de 1 al 10, 1 siendo la más importante, 10 siendo la menos importante. Y vas a compartir las razones del por qué son tan importantes. Por ejemplo. Ok. For example, when I choose a hotel, I consider that hygiene is the number one aspect that I take into consideration. Number two would be the level of customer service provided by the staff. Thirdly, it is a must that I, that there is a gym in the hotel because I need to work out. All right, or something like that. Do you understand? Yes. Do you have any questions? Yes. Do you have any no. questions? Sure. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> All right, so at this moment, what you are going to do is you're going to work in pairs and you are going to complete your answers. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Does anybody have any questions? I said, does anybody have any questions? Does anybody, somebody, one body, two body, nobody, anybody have any questions? You body, body? Nobody, body? Yes, my body? Nobody. Me. My body and me. Who said me? Money. What's going on, Mr. Marvin? Uh, how many talk, ideas? Talk to me how now. Many? Talk to me now. What's going on, Mr. Marvin? How many ideas is how to put uh, in order? Let's say about five ideas. Five. That's okay. Five. Five is okay. a good number. Let's go, Daniel. Let's go, Elmer. Let's go, Roxana Valladares. Let's go, Myra. Let's go, Marvin. Let's go, Daniel. Let's go, Elmer. Let's go, Marvin. Let's go, Roxana Valladares. Let's go, Myra. Let's go, Marvin. Let's go, Elmer. Let's go, Roxana Valladares. Let's go, Myra. Let's go, Roxana Valladares. Ay, no. Está para ir a traerlo. No vayas a ver para otra parte, ve recto. Enfrente. Va a caer, ya sé. No, por eso no me he levantado. Vaya. De la más importante sería este, primero el lugar. El. Pero para no poner solo el lugar, ¿cómo podríamos poner? Uh, la ubicación. Ajá, el, ajá, la ubicación. Este, que el lugar sea atractivo en cuanto a al turismo, a la vista. Termos del río, entonces. La ubicación. <risa> 
Bueno, Ay, aquí, no. aquí estamos. Vaya, quiero ver. En primer lugar, cua, cuando buscamos un hotel. Listo. Cuando busco, uh -huh. cuando buscamos. Busco. Sí. Busco. Ajá, un hotel. Cuando busco un hotel. No, cuando busco un hotel sería lo primero. que considero es la ubicación la ubicación y el atractivo turístico uh -huh. when I look for a hotel What I consider is the location, o no sé cómo se dice, in the tourist attraction. Uh -huh. Así te sale. Sí, so, yo le puse la primera. No sé cómo le puse usted. Yo le puse cuando busco un hotel, lo primero que considero. Es la ubicación y el atractivo turístico. The first thing I consider is the location in the tourist. The first thing I consider is the location mm -hmm. in the tourist attraction. attraction. <laughs> Así lo tenés, Carlita. Sí, ahorita se las mando. Así lo tengo yo. Ah, igual. Sí. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Como pusimos Estamos en lo mismo. mismo. <risa> Estamos en la misma sintonía. Así es. Cuando me pregunta el teacher, ¿qué ves en la imagen? Por Dios. Veo no, no borroso, le hubiera dicho. No, me dio Veo pena. Veo una manchita, le <risa> Me dio pena. Y, y vos pensando que ibas a decir una cosa que no, no era. Sí. <risa> Ay, no, qué Fíjate que sí, pensé eso. Dios mío, dije yo. Y vos, eh, ¿gat? <risa> Gato. Tu person le iba a decir yo. El cielo le iba a decir. Vaya. Vaya. Lo segundo sería la, el precio, quizá, perdón. Ajá. Sí. Segundo. Como pobre es el precio. <risa> Busca es el precio. Un, un buen precio. Ajá, es un buen precio. Segundo, busco un buen precio. Que esté al alcance de mi bolsillo, ¿no? Sí. Alcance de mi bolsillo second I, I look for ¿cómo te parece? ahorita, ahorita eso lo mandé quiero ver cómo lo tengo yo yo no sé qué va. Sí, ajá, de Ruiz, no tengo yo. Ruiz es, 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 Uf, my al hija. alcance mm. 
Right. Ajá, solo casi igual lo tenéis. Oh, ya nos vamos. All right, let me have Arturo Antonio present. Arturo Antonio. Está por ahí Arturo. Present teacher. All right, that's right. Así lo quiero escuchar. Present. 19. Yesenia Beatriz. Yesenia Beatriz. Absent. Okay. Jesse Elizabeth. Present. Present. Very good. Uh, Nelly Elena. Present, sir. Present. Very good. Thank you. Carla Yesenia. Present. All right, present. Carla Beatriz. Present. Good job. Roxana Valladares. Present. All right. <laughs> Daniel Armando. Present teacher. Okay. Francisco Edgardo. Present teacher. All right. Elmer Neftali. Present teacher. Present. Luis Jose. Luis Jose. Absent. Mayra Lisette. Present teacher. Present. Very good. Mauricio Efraín. Mauricio, ah, oh, very good. Marvin Antonio. Marvin Antonio, good job. And that's the last one. All right, at this moment, um, is everybody finished with the activity or does everybody need more time? More time. More time. More time. Oh, how much? How much? How much time? How much more time? About five, ten minutes, or five minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Just, just five, five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. No, five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. Yeah. Okay.
en lo cuatro sería como las referencias, buscas como referencias. Ajá. De ah, cómo sí. es el, el lugar, o sea, las recomendaciones. Los comentarios. Exactamente. Ajá. Como que estás viendo Facebook los y ves cuatro. los comentarios. Ajá. It's bad. La cuarta sería este, buscar las recomendaciones del, del lugar, uh -huh. del servicio que ofrece el lugar. Uh -huh. Sería la cuarta, busco las recomendaciones uh -huh. del lugar o del hotel. Sí. Oh, the place. Oh, the place. Uh -oh, busco las recomendaciones del lugar. ¿Y qué más dijiste, Carleta? Y la atención. Uh, ah, las recomendaciones del servicio que ofrece. Ok. Mm. Del lugar y del servicio que ofrece. Y el servicio que ofrece. Five. Hacemos más. Son diez. Son ah, diez. Sí, diez. son diez. Diez son. Pues <risa> Yo ya soy. Mira, Carleta, ya terminamos. Hasta <risa> mucho. Hasta mucho. <risa> <risa> Ando dormida. That's crazy. <laughs> Oops, <Okay>. teacher. Siempre te cacha, Carla. Sí. Sorry. <laughs> Rayos. <laughs> Se estaban diciendo que... So, the number two is that a farming must have good room service. Are you finished? Yes, uh, yes, we finished it. All right. Is everybody finished? No, teacher. All right, number one, Mauricio. Number one. Mauricio. Number two, Daniel. Number three, Marvin. What points do you consider when making a hotel reservation? Um, I am... Um, Room eating, bathroom cleaning, food service, and water for showering, uh, internet service, taxi service, panoramic view of the site or city. Bar service, pool service, price. And gym. Can't forget the gym. 
Ah, no, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bar, bar service. <laughs> bar service. Bar service. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mauricio. Daniel Armando, number two. What points do you consider when making a hotel reservation? Um, the department is clean all time. Another department must have good service. Keep in mind the security is provided. Another one. For example? Marvin, continue with the other one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marvin, continue. Okay, the apartment have a good view of the sea. Uh, that include additional service with a no higher cost. And read other people's opinion about your service. Perfect. Nelly. Nelly. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I look for a hotel, the first thing I consider is the location and the foreign attraction. That's it. That's it. Finished. Finished? Okay. Finished. All right, guys. Now we are going to look at the idioms. Repeat, please. Kick back. Kick, kick back. back. Kick back. back. Relax. <laughs> Relax. After we checked in the hotel. After, after we, we checked in the hotel. hotel. We kicked back at the pool. We, we kicked back at the pool. And enjoyed the sun. And enjoyed the sun. So the meaning of the idiom kick back means to relax. relax. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, nothing here at home, kicking back on my hammock. Here at home, kicking back on my hammock. All right, everybody give me one example using kicking back or kick back in a... Teacher, excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. One volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer, kick back, one sentence. Ah, Yesenia Beatriz, present. Okay. <clears throat> All 
Okay, give me one example, somebody. Somebody give me an example. Is anybody ready? Is somebody ready? This is Yesenia Mejia. Yesenia Mejia? Present. Present. Thank you. All right, number one, I mean, number two, crash, C-R-A-S-H, crash. Go to bed because you are very tired. For example, I crashed as soon as I got to my room because I was exhausted from traveling all day. So in this case, the idiom is crash. Uh, normally we use the word crash for, for example, there is a car crash on Boulevard Constitution, for example. Uh, so in this context, it means when something goes like this, whoosh, crash. But in this example, I crashed as soon as I got to my room because I was exhausted. I was exhausted from traveling all day. So Crash means go to bed because you are very tired. Any questions? Your homework will be give me a sentence with kickback and crash. That's going to be your homework. Now we're going to look at the listening quiz. Where is the man's room in the hotel? First floor, the third floor, the second floor. What time is breakfast served in the morning? 6 to 10.30 a.m., 6.30 to 10 a.m., 6.30 to 10.30 a.m. Where can the man get a free wireless internet connection outside of the hotel, in his hotel room, in the restaurant and lobby? What is the cost for a refrigerator in the man's room? $7.50, $10, it's free, of course. At the end of the conversation, the man decides to stay at the hotel anyway, call the manager to complain more, find another hotel with better service. Any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions about this vocabulary? No, teacher. 
No questions referring to the vocabulary in the questions. Not yet. Nobody. Okay. Now what we're going to do is listen and answer the questions. Hi, I have a reservation for tonight, and I just want to check in. Sure, what's your name? Uh, Mike Adams. Okay, let me check here. Um, here's your key to open your door. You're in room 360. Just walk okay. down the hall, and you'll see the elevators on your right. Oh, okay, and what time is the restaurant open for breakfast? It serves breakfast from 6.30 to 10 a.m. Oh, okay. And uh, where's the exercise room? I'd like to, you know, run a couple of miles before going to bed tonight. It's on the second floor and it's open till 10 tonight, okay. but the treadmill isn't working. Oh, oh well. Um, and one final question. Do you have wireless internet in the rooms? We do oh. for seven ninety five a night. Oh, I thought something like that would be free. No, sorry, sir. But you can get free wireless access if you sit in the parking lot on the north side. Oh. You see, the hotel next to us has wireless and... <laughs> well, great. Um, and, uh, oh, forget that. And uh, every room has a refrigerator, right? Well, we can have one put in your room for an additional $10 a night. Oh, I thought something like that would be included in the price of the room. Sorry, sir. Well, you know, it, it kind of irks me when hotels nickel and dime their customers like this. I mean, I check with Souther... I mean, I check with several... You really should have checked this one, too, <laughs> shouldn't you, buddy? <laughs> I, I guess what I, uh, I'm all flustered now. I mean, all the other hotels provide these amenities for free. Sorry, sir. It's just the way it is at this hotel. And the bed? Is that extra, too? Of course not. Uh, oh, I've had it. I'll just try the hotel across the street. I'm sure they'll, they'll give me better service. Okay, but you'll be canceling your reservation here, so we'll have to charge you a cancellation fee of 50% of the cost of the room. Oh, forget it. I can't win either way. What's my room again? 360. Ugh. Do you want me to repeat or you have the answers? I have the answer. Or do you want me to repeat? One more time, please. Repeat one more time. Repeat. Repeat. Repeat one more time. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hi, I have a reservation for tonight, and I just want to check in. Sure, what's your name? Uh, Mike Adams. Okay, let me check here. Um, here's your key to open your door. You're in room 360. Just walk okay. down the hall, and you'll see the elevators on your right. Oh, okay, and what time is the restaurant open for breakfast? It serves breakfast from 6.30 to 10 a.m. Oh, okay. And uh, where's the exercise room? I'd like to, you know, run a couple of miles before going to bed tonight. It's on the second floor, and it's open till 10 tonight, okay. but the treadmill isn't working. Oh, oh well. Um, and one final question. Do you have wireless Internet in the rooms? We do. Oh, for seven ninety five a night. Oh, I thought something like that would be free. No, sorry, sir. But you can get free wireless access if you sit in the parking lot on the north side. Oh. You see, the hotel next to us has wireless and... <laughs> well, great. Um, and, uh, oh, forget that. And uh, every room has a refrigerator, right? Well, we can have one put in your room for an additional $10 a night. Oh, I thought something like that would be included in the price of the room. Sorry, sir. Well, you know what? It kind of irks me when hotels nickel and dime their customers like this. I mean, I check with Souther. I mean, I check with several. You really should have checked this one too, shouldn't you, buddy? <laughs> I, I guess what I, uh, I'm all flustered now. I mean, all the other hotels provide these amenities for free. Sorry, sir. It's just the way it is at this hotel. And the bed is that extra too? Of course not. Uh, oh, I've had it. I'll just try the hotel across the street. I'm sure they'll, they'll give me better service. Okay, but you'll be canceling your reservation here, so we'll have to charge you a cancellation fee of 50% of the cost of the room. Oh, forget it. I can't win either way. What's my room again? 360. Ugh. Now. Are you ready to answer the questions 
or do you want me to play the audio one more time? One more time, one more time. Uh, do you want me, sorry. Do you want me to, <laughs> do you want me to play the audio one more time or do you want to answer the questions? Somebody talk to me, please. One more time. One more time. <laughs> I think we need one more time. <laughs> you need it one more time? <laughs> more time. <laughs> okay. It's a song, right? It's one more time. <laughs> one more time. Girl, I want to suck it to you one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it's my época, yeah, old school, old school. Hi, I have a reservation for tonight, and I just want to check in. Sure, what's your name? Uh, Mike Adams. Okay, let me check here. Um, Here's your key to open your door. You're in room 360. Just walk okay. down the hall, and you'll see the elevators on your right. Oh, okay, and what time is the restaurant open for breakfast? It serves breakfast from 6.30 to 10 a.m. Oh, okay. And uh, where's the exercise room? I'd like to, you know, run a couple of miles before going to bed tonight. It's on the second floor and it's open till 10 tonight, okay. but the treadmill isn't working. Oh, oh well. Um, and one final question. Do you have wireless internet in the rooms? We do oh. for seven ninety five a night. Oh, I thought something like that would be free. No, sorry, sir. But you can get free wireless access if you sit in the parking lot on the north side. Oh. You see, the hotel next to us has wireless and... <laughs> well, great. Um, and, uh, oh, forget that. And uh, every room has a refrigerator, right? Well, we can have one put in your room for an additional $10 a night. Oh. I thought something like that would be included in the price of the room. Sorry, sir. Well, you know what? It kind of irks me when hotels nickel and dime their customers like this. I mean, I check with Southern... I mean, I checked with several... You really should have checked this one, too, shouldn't you, buddy? <laughs> I, I guess what I... Uh, I'm all flustered now. I mean, all the other hotels provide these amenities for free. Sorry, sir. It's just the way it is at this hotel. And the bed? Is that extra, too? Of course not. Uh, oh, I've had it. I'll just try the hotel across the street. I'm sure they'll, they'll give me better service. Okay, but you'll be canceling your reservation here, so we'll have to charge you a cancellation fee of 50% of the cost of the room. Oh, forget it. I can't win either way. What's my room again? 360. Ugh. All right. What is the answer to the first one? Number one. Where is the man's hotel room? The third floor. The third floor. Does everybody agree? Do you agree it's on the third floor? Yes. Everybody yes. everybody agrees or disagrees? Agree. 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 All right. Third floor. Third floor. Ding, yes. ding, ding. That is correct. Carla, number two. What time is breakfast served in the morning? Carla. <laughs> Carla Yesenia. 6.30 at 10 a.m. Excellent. Eh, Elmer. The next one, where can the man get a free wireless internet connection? All right, Yesenia Mejia. In this other room? Very good. Oh, uh. no. quack, 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 quack. <laughs> the answer is outside oh, of the oh, hotel. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> 
All right. The next one is Francisco Edgardo Lopez. The question says, what is the cost for a refrigerator in the man's room? Seven fighting. Seven dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> the answer is ten dollars. Sorry. The next one is. Nelly Elena. At the end of the conversation, the man decides to stay at the hotel anyway, call the manager to complain more, find another hotel with better service. Nelly. Hi, Nelly. Estás ahí? Okay, Daniel Armando. Stay at the, at the hotel anyway. Stay at the hotel anyway. Correct. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for the next activity, you are going to put these words in the correct order as I mixed up pancakes for breakfast, my sister with I chatted. Lo va a poner en la orden correcta acá en su notebook. Tiene dos minutos. I got it. Now, I would like for Marvin Antonio, give me the answer. I chat. I chatted. Would. With my sister, my sister, as I mixed uh, up, as I mixed up pancakes for um, breakfast. Pancakes for breakfast. Let's check. Correct. Ding ding ding. Everybody, copy the sentence. I chatted with my sister as I mixed up pancakes for breakfast. Copy the example in your notebook. Finished? Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Now, what we are going to do is go to the following activity. 
which is if and when. Repeat, please. Repeat after me, please. What do we do if we have very low assets? What do we do if we have very low assets? Right. ¿Qué, ¿Qué hacemos si tenemos assets muy bajos? So in this case, if is like when you say C, si. ¿qué pasaría C? Si. Repeat. If we have low assets, we have to even up prices. We have to even up prices. Or, or we have to even up prices. If we have low assets. So in this example, I want you to see that it's the same thing. I can say if we have low assets, we have to even up prices or we have to even up prices if we have low assets. O sea, it's expressing the same idea. Si tenemos low assets, tenemos que regular los precios. Tenemos que regular los precios si tenemos bajo assets. So it, it's expressing the same idea. Uh, repeat, where does your family go? Where when does your family go if, if they need a loan? Right. ¿A dónde va tu familia si necesitan un préstamo? When my family needs a loan. When my family needs a loan. They go to the bank. Cuando mi familia necesita un préstamo, ellos van al banco. My family goes to the bank. My family, my family, goes, to the bank. family goes to the bank. When they need a loan. When they need a loan. Mi familia va al banco cuando necesitan un préstamo. So again, these two sentences express the same thing. Lo puedes decir así o así is the same thing. Así o así is the same thing. It doesn't change the meaning. Do you understand? Do you understand, guys? ¿En qué situación voy a utilizar el if o el when? ¿En qué situación? ¿Qué me puede decir? ¿En qué situación voy a usar el if o el when? El if sería en... Como una posibilidad. That's right. Los dos si son posibilidades. Los dos son posibilidades. Ok. Los dos. They are possibilities. Eso se llama the if clause. The if clause. Ok. Now, what I would like for us to do is work on the first activity, which is this activity number five, and then we're going to check it as a class. You will work on it in pairs at this moment. Ready? Let's go.
I be late, late for work. I... Pero sería no, no be es I am late for work. Porque el verbo to be. Pero dice que hay que usar las palabras y el verbo correcto. Uh -huh. Sería if I wake up. Esa es, es la palabra. Uh -huh. Pero en la sí. otra sería I. Be? I am. No, sería uh -huh. I be. ¿Qué significa be? Cero Vaya. I am. Ajá, estoy tarde en el trabajo. I wake up late. I be late for work. Porque la indicación dice completa la siguiente usando las palabras que se provee y el verbo correcto. Ajá, pero como el verbo be. En be, si no se ocupa, se, se, se modifica. Cansada, ¿verdad? <laughs> Joy, what? If I be, quiero ver, ahí está el teacher. Teacher, teacher, what's going on? Eh, verdad que en la primera, después de. I, uh, if I wake up late, I, está entre paréntesis el verbo be, sería I am. No, no. if I wake up late, I, puedes, decir, ajá, puedes decir, I am late for work. Uh -huh. If I wake up late, I am late for work. So, ahí sería, I am late for work. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Uh, hi, teacher. Necesitamos ayuda, teacher. What's up? Talk to me now. What's going on? <laughs> es que como me había salido, no le entendí mucho. Okay. You're going to complete the sentence. For example, mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. I say to you, if I wake up, if I wake up late, I am late for work, for example. Mm, okay. Right? So my son. Burn. Aquí sería my son burns, B-U-R-N-S, burns. My son burns the food if he is cook. cooks alone, like that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. All right. Yes. Okay. Hoy sí. Ya que lo vamos a hacer en plural. En plural sería, teacher. ¿Cómo así en plural? No entiendo en plural. Porque dice, si yo... What, who? Employee, employees. Es que yo entendí que vamos a usar if cuando hay una posibilidad de una, de una respuesta. Okay, here, vamos a decir, si yo me levanto tarde, yo 
llego tarde o estoy tarde al trabajo. If I wake up, no sé dónde ve el plural. If I wake up late, I am late for work. No, o sea, si yo me levanto en la segunda tarde, le puso burnos. Oh, no, es que burns es porque es tercer persona singular. My son. My son mm. es tercer persona singular, mi hijo. Mi hijo quema la comida mm. si él cocina solo. My, sir, my son <laughs> burns the food uh -huh. if he cooks. No es que sea plural, los verbos no son plurales. Aquí tiene la S porque está identificando que el sujeto he o oh, my son es tercer persona singular. Por eso es que llevan la S los verbos. Ah, ok. Ok. Ok, entonces aquí sería not. Not eat well. They... They... Are not. Aren't. Uh, uh, si no comemos bien, no vamos a estar saludables. Sería, ¿Mm? they are not. They are, are not healthy or okay. aren't healthy. Porque they, uh -huh, they are not eat well they are not healthy healthy la cuatro we she pay her bills sometimes she not have to pay extra money is employed Espero que me, me quede en la, en la, we, en la tres. We. Supongo que Gwen, porque dice Gwen. Cuando ella paga los recibos a tiempo. Perdón, en la tres, en la tres quedó if employees not eat well, they Aren't, ¿verdad? They are not. No, they are not. Oh, they are not. ¿Cuál era el otro? Calchi. Pero en la, en la primera es not eat, ¿verdad? Sí, not eat. La cuatro es when she compra sus recibos en tiempo, ella no paga dinero extra. Uh -huh. What she pay? She pay her bills not, on time. She not have uh, to pay it. She is not. She Come is not. Isn't. Sería she is not to pay extra. Ella no está pagando extra. Did not have sería, ¿verdad? O, she, she is no. Entonces sería ella no tiene que pagar, no tiene que pagar extra. Ya vamos a ver aquí, San Google. When, when she pay her bills, okay. cuando paga sus facturas a tiempo, she's not, or she isn't, Sería chin, she, she is not. Cuando paga sus facturas a tiempo, no debe pagar más dinero. She uh -huh. isn't. Uh -huh. 
Ajá, no paga dinero extra, no paga extra. Pero it's not. It's not. Okay. If the income alumnos. It's not quedaría en esa. If Digo yo no sé. Y el have. Entonces en la dos sería when. Porque un, eh, en la primera. En la, en la dos. Primera. En la dos. Ajá, pero, pero en el primer espacio. En el segundo sería, ¿verdad? En el segundo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. En la primera sería if mi hijo por fin solo. No. Bueno, entonces sería si en la en el primer espacio. Mm -hmm. If. Mm -hmm. Si. No. Mm -hmm. Y ahí es no. Hub, no sé si lo vamos a usar ahí. No tiene. Pero. Pero mm -hmm. bueno. Ajá, pongámoslo así. Pero no sé. Yo creo que va el hub porque va. Yo creo que quiere decir no tiene que pagar extra. Tiene que pagar dinero extra. Un. Un pago extra, un dinero extra, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces sería no así: chi, where chi, pero when solamente de que ahí no sé si lleva, si lleva también ben. el ar. No, porque si no. este está hablando de she, she not have. Ok. She not have. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque dice si sí, no, bueno. Es que es, es el hub es de tener, o sea, no eh, tiene. Ajá. No tiene que pagar ajá. un dinero extra. Bueno. Teacher, cuando se refiere a she, tercera persona, le vamos a agregar este al pay, pay. Comments. I know. Teacher. What's up? Ahí le vamos a agregar S. Which one? En number, number four. four. Let me see. When she, okay. mm, she, mm, correct. She is third sí, person singular. Yes. Okay. okay. Entonces sí lleva ese niño. Ok. Entonces sería where she is. Hey, sería. Is teacher. Yes. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia donde dice number four by her? Bills. Bills o bills. What number? Number four. Her bills. 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 On time. Bills. Bills. Bill. Bills. Bills, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at me. Look at me. Look. Look at me. B. Okay. B. B. Bills. Bills. Como que si tiras un beso. Bills. B. <laughs> Bills. Bills. That's right. Bills. Okay. Bills. <laughs> Lo siento, teacher. That's all right. Got to practice. It's okay. It's okay. You got to be patient. Patient. 
patience. Y la otra es IV. Ingresos, comes, ingresos, es verdad. Income. Income. Incomes. Incomes. Los. Teacher, y ahí en ese caso, si solo quisiera decir ingreso, no tendría que agregar la S, ¿verdad? Pero como dice, eh, está ya en es, en es, solo en ese parrafito está hablando en plural, ¿verdad? Porque lleva la S agregada, incomes, ¿verdad? En um, este caso, mm. I think it's a mistake. It's not necessary to say incomes. You can mm -hmm. just say income, ingreso. Si el ingreso es bueno, el empleado recibe, recibe un bono. Recibe un bono, ajá. En, en, como está en singular, el empleado, me imagino que hicieron un error con esa S. Solo debería decir ah, if the income. Mm -hmm. Ajá, eso le iba a decir porque ahí dice uh, ingreso, ¿verdad? That is correct. Mm -hmm. Bye. B. Ya me siento mejor. That's good. That's good. That's how you practice. That's how you learn. You got to ask questions. Okay. Mañana voy a terminar todo lo de lo de las tareas, oiga. Ahora lo iba a hacer, pero no me quedó tiempo. Okay. Okay, do it tomorrow. Mañana pienso avanzar bastante. All right, do it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. That's okay. Teacher, y si no las, no, no las terminamos en esta semana. Oh, o sea, yeah. tenemos hasta fin de semana. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. Yes. Teacher, porque tenemos un montón de trabajo acumulado que ni comemos en una hora, sino que en diez minutos. <laughs> Yo ahora fui a correr sí. una hora, corrí y levanté pesas una hora. <laughs> uh, ready, teacher. Oh, Muy bien. Me siento uva. Oh, sí. Yeah. Whistle. Whistle. B. B. En sería entonces is the income. Is everybody finished or you need more time? Is everybody finished or you need more time? Finished. Finished? All right. Let's check the first example. Please, Francisco, number one. Francisco Edgardo López, number one. No, no la hice. Excellent, thank you. Number two, Yesenia. No la hice, teacher. No la hice. Number three, Nelly. If I got lay. I am late for work. If I wake up late, I am late, late for work. work. Very good. Si me levanto tarde, estoy tarde en el trabajo. Number two, Daniel Armando. My son burns the food if, if he cooks alone. Excellent. Perfect. My son burns the food if he cooks alone. Roxana, number three. No, he says a teacher. Excellent. Number three, Mauricio.
if employers not eat well, they are not healthy. If employees don't eat well, they are not healthy. Very good. Number four, Arturo. Mm, yeah. Which pay her bills on time? She is not to she, pay. Extra. No, she does not have she is, does not have to pay extra. Thank you. Carla Beatriz, number five. If the income is good, an employee receive a bonus. Very good. Receives a bonus. The next one, Elmer, number six. Uh, we serve more products when we now the customer needs excellent perfect we sell more products when we know the customers needs very good okay ladies and gentlemen time ding 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 the people that are going to stay to the tutoring please stay everybody else good night Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.